What's up everyone, it's OJH and we are back at it again, this time with all five kills of Devil Saw. I've seen some people struggling with Devil Saw and I've got a tactic here which is guaranteed wins. The MVP mini in this run is the Chimera and I know if you've been watching my videos recently there'll be a lot of you saying, OJH you've been giving a lot of love to the Chimera recently and to those people I'd say mind your own business. So looking at the deck then this one is General Drac. I've chosen this one just because this clip was at the top of my list of clips. All of the remaining clips will follow a similar path. I'm going to talk through this first one. And then the final four uh, will be played with timestamps uh, in the description below. So you'll be able to hop to one that you need. So looking at the deck itself then, you'll notice the average level to start with is less than 21. So we're about two, two and a half levels below. Um, so it is red difficulty, all the kills are red difficulty, so we are expecting to take a little bit of damage along the way, but honestly this strategy is the one for you. So first and foremost, leader, General Drac, just is what it is. Secondly, Stonehoof Touring with the double charge ability, really, really good for taking out those pesky backline units. Things like the Ogre Mage in this one can get really, really good value, and also the double charge is going to help you taking out those Raptors. Then we've got Flame Waker. Flame Waker, just a really, really good unit in this. There is a lot of ground swarm units. Flame Waker, perfect for that. Chimera, Chimera, absolutely amazing for swarm units and really, really good single target damage as well, especially with the poison talents. So like I say, Chimera is going to carry you through this and basically take out the boss all by itself because it can outrange the boss. So it's just chipping away, smacking away. Chimera is the play in this. Pyromancer next with the uh, Pyroblast talent. Again, great for taking out swarm units as we've got that first hit. Uh, hits really, really hard. Uh, just a great unit to have in the deck. Huntress, everybody loves Huntress. Uh, does great damage on the first hit. And with the, um, with the second and third hits um, as part of her um, skill set, I suppose, um, that's going to just help you clean up uh, those raptors as well, because there can be quite a few enemy minis on the map as this fight goes on. Finally, Batrider, two gold, taking out plenty of those raptors, just a great card, you can get loads and loads of value for just two gold. So let's get straight into the run then, and you'll see how Chimera just runs this for us, completely dominates, just no questions asked. So my tactic here is really all I want, I want to defend a lot. Like I said, we are lower than the level um, that the enemy is, so we're going to have to over, -de over defend in parts. So I played my Flame Waker in the back, didn't drop the general in time, so Flame Waker took a smack unnecessarily there, but it's absolutely fine. So what I want to do is I want to defend solidly on the left and try and use the minimum amount of troops as I can on the right. Ideally, what I want to do is only use my Chimera on the right, or your Batrider, who will also outrange the boss, but Chimera will just do much more damage. So Chimera on the right-hand side will just be chipping away at those Raptors as they progress down the map. And now we've got Batrider, who's taking out the three Raptors that came down, and then the two Raptors, um, and again, we'll be able to get good value on the Kobold and the Null Brute. So we've taken a little bit of damage, but shortly you're going to see Devil Saw's health uh, begin to drop. And that's because the Chimera that we dropped at the very beginning is already at the boss and he's chipping away. So as you can see, the health bar just edging down there. So keep an eye on that because that first Chimera is going to take out probably three quarters of the boss's health. So we've soaked a little bit of damage from the Grunts, but we dropped another Chimera. That's all we did in that right-hand lane. We just dropped another Chimera. The boss has done what it does at 2 minutes and 10, so it advances down the map, and then you get loads of uh, Raptors that spawn. So you can see the boss less than half health now. We've got nothing else hitting the boss, just that first Chimera. That's all we've dropped in the right-hand lane, um, and we're defending more solidly in the left. So the Dark Spear Troll, I think it was uh, that might have taken out that first Chimera, but we've already got a second Chimera that's chipping away there. Now we do have uh, the two uh, Grunts making their way down. I played the uh, Paramancer behind uh, the Tower for Protection. I sacrificed the Kobold there, a little bit of old school kiting to buy us some extra time to get the defence in. We're down to just under half health but Devil Saw is done and dusted. So I really, really hope that this guide helps. Very, very simple. Chimera only, if you can, on the right-hand side. Batrider if you really have to, but don't tempt the enemy to put too many 
enemy troops to attack you back on the right hand side and that is it so i hope this guide helps please let me know how you get on in the comments give this video a thumbs up consider getting yourself subscribed and i will leave you with the other four clips i'll see you in the next one Go. Go.